I'm uh, Jasper from Magella Audio, and uh, this is our Implexa synthesizer. It's a fusion between East Coast and West Coast synthesis in a single form factor. Um, yeah, it's a high quality instrument. We try to use uh, a lot of high uh, quality uh, building materials. Mm -hmm. And also starting with the interface, we uh, had a, a cooperation with a musician who's here as well, Erin from mm -hmm. Pocket Knife Army. And um, yeah, maybe we should have a listen to it. Yeah, let's do it. So um, the thing with the uh, Plexus is we have two kinds of worlds that are both contained in a single box. So Moog, most of people are familiar with Moog. Um, this is more of the East Coast sound, the filter. On the other hand, we have a, a more com a complex generator, uh, which has a wave shaper on board and cascaded by a wave folder. So this sounds a bit like the wave shaper in itself is not very harsh, I would say, but uh, or rich in overtones. But when you start to wave fold them, they become quite interesting. So we spend a lot of time getting the, the wave shaper and the wave folder to interact really well with each other. I really like this here. That, that's yeah. really interesting how it lights up. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of feedback from customers who are not really experienced that it helps them as well with that modulation and to see what's going on. Yeah, it's definitely something different you don't see very often. No, actually well, the DRE come from um, another product we might have developed, but when we started with the synth, well, like, maybe we should use it for the synthesizer as well. Mm. Uh, so what's really fun if you start to modulate the controls of the complex generator as well with, uh, for instance, a LFO, you get kind of like a filter sound, but that's not really a filter because we're not using the filter. Um, the LFOs can be synced or in free running mode, but in, when they're synced, they can be synced to top tempo, midi clock, or external input. Um, they have the syncable uh, options, and when you use different divisions, you get really rhythmic stuff going on. So now we're in both at LFO 1, and when I switch this to LFO 2, get a bit like a, a groove going on. the idea is, was like should we build a synth without a filter oh but really? then we started to develop and wave folders can be a bit rough yeah also especially in the high end uh -huh. so uh, the filler was still put on there but um, that's also why it doesn't have uh, the LEDs because it, we don't want to attract people too much to mm. the filter. I also uh, noticed too there's a bit of a mixer happening over yeah, here. Yeah so we've been listening actually just to one oscillator. Um, the basic generator can also be used to modulate the wave folder to create even more harmonics. So these come here, but you can mix, uh, for instance, if you have actually a sub oscillator as well. So the mixer contains of the complex generator, the sub oscillator, which is an octave below the uh, complex generator. It's a square wave and the bass generator, of course. Those go, uh, are mixed, go through the filter, and then there's also a delay on there, which is oh, a, nice. a digital delay, but it's emulating a tape echo on both channels. Can we hear a bit of the yeah, delay? Yeah, sure. So it can um, also be synced, but also in free mode. In free mode it can go up to like... So really short. Nice. Or uh, the maximum delay time is one second mm. in free mode and it's syn syncable to the, the top mm. tempo as well. Um, yeah, so we also have um, some Eurorack connectivity on the back. Yeah. Um, to, you can also patch it into itself, so for instance LFO2 has an output, so you can put it into uh, the pitch of basic generator mm. to create more uh, random pitches or uh, other stuff. Um, the envelopes are uh, also analog, except actually the whole instrument is analog except for the LFOs and the delay. Mm. Um, the, is the filter analog? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, awesome. it's a 12 dB OTA based, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not really uh, steep, but it's, it has a quite nice sound. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there's also a little handy feature, a guitar style tuner. Oh! Because it's analog, right? So uh, when you put it in the uh, t uh, in top mode, it will show the, the, the pitch of the complex yeah. generator, and then you can tune it to an A. go down it will show if it's too high it will blink if you press the A note you can tune it now we have two A notes wow it's not really precise at the high end but it's as you can hear it's still both are in tune awesome awesome <laughs> So yeah, cool. it, that's a bit in a nutshell uh, yeah. what it is. I, I think I got a lot of information from that. I guess my only question is, uh, what's the availability for it? Currently we're sold out at the moment because of, also of the part shortage. Okay. I, th I think you've heard that before. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm working on a, a, a next batch and I hope to be. it will be available again in September. And there are some shops which already said that they would buy if there's uh, more available uh, in the near future. Yeah, and uh, where can people get their hands on this? Uh, most stores in Europe okay. and also in America. Uh, but they're also very welcome to order directly with us. Um, so yeah, that's it. Alrighty, yeah, well, thank it. you very much. Um, I'm gonna probably toy around a little bit yeah, with it, sure. but uh, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, and uh, thank you for showing me. Thank this you. is a really awesome product. Thank yeah. you, thank you so much.